Hey y'all, I'm back with a DIY Project Life video and this time I'm going to be doing stamping on cards and I'm going to use clear stamps, roller stamps, and wood mount stamps. And then I'm also going to be using a variety of cardstock. I'm going to use the pre-cut Project Life white cardstock and grid cardstock and then a couple pieces of colored cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. And it's not surprising to me or probably to y'all that I chose pink and mint for uh, my colored cardstock. So I'm starting off by mounting several of these little word stamps that I got in a Project Life Pseudo Calico kit a while back. And I'm just mounting them all into the block and then I'm gonna ink them up with black ink first, but my video gets cut off. So you guys are gonna first see me do it with pink ink. And I'm just gonna kind of go in a diagonal motion and then the next one when I, you guys will see the black ink uh, version and I'm gonna do that more straight across. I love the way th these turned out. These are some of my favorite cards in this entire video. But the black, the black one it turns out so crisp. I love the VersaFine ink. That's like my, my favorite ink of all time. The only thing about it is it smudges really easily, so you just have to be careful. But this particular ink comes out so crisp. Like if you have a really detailed stamp, this ink is perfect for that. So as I said before, I'm just going kind of across the, the card. And then I just used a piece of scratch cardstock underneath. It's just like some cards like I had laying around that's just scratch pieces. Actually, I don't know if that one is. I think that that might be like my Nina cardstock. And then I realized, oh, I better, I should use like really crappy cardstock for this, for this type of project. So I did go back and I did switch that up here in a second. So I am uh, using the Citrus Twist stamp and it's, it's kind of a little mini stamp set and it uh, has a couple of different words on it. And I chose documented because that's like a word that I think everybody could use in their project life. And I'm just going in with th three different colors. Now these are three colors I use a lot and it's bubblegum, butter bar, and then orange soda. And those are all three hero art arts inks. <clears throat> I love the way that card turned out as well. <clears throat> Here's a little stamp that I was talking about. And then this stamp gives me heck. Like this is a Studio Calico stamp that I love, but I just did not like the way this card turned out. As you see, I put it aside and then I did this one. And this card, I mean, it turned out okay, but I think I would have liked it better had I like practiced this or uh, maybe used a different kind of cardstock. This cardstock was super thick or maybe even used like a foam mat underneath. I think that would have made a huge difference. So that was pretty much my fault, but I just did not like the way that that card turned out as much as the other ones. I do love this one. This can't, this heart comes from that same Studio Calico stamp set. And I want to say, oh my gosh. Okay. The person who does Illustrated Faith, why can I not think, why is her name slipping my mind? I think she created this stamp set and I don't know why I can't think of her name. Anyway, I'm sure she'll forgive me, but it's not like she knows me or anything like that. But anyway, so um, or watches my videos. But so those two inks were um, teal and Malibu and those were Simon Says Stamp inks. And I used that particular heart. It was kind of an open heart. It was super cute from that particular, from that stamp set. And I swear that is like bugging me. Why do I do this? Why do I always forget? And I'm like the type of person, I'm sorry, that was a grid stamp and I think it's Crafters Workshop maybe. But I, and this stamp set is the, is a triangle, um, stamp set from my favorite things and we got this in a hip kit club a while back and it's still one of my favorite stamp sets. I'm just using the triangle one and I have to say that this is probably my absolute favorite card out of the whole collection. But what I was saying before was I always do, I always forget stuff and have to look it up like right away. It's like this thing that I have where I'm like, that's going to kill me. It's going to bug me for like the whole entire day. And so as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to look up her name because that's, that's bugging the crap out of me. So, um, like I said, that, that triangle stamp set was like my favorite and I just used the same, the same stamp with, with a few different colors and I love the way that turned out. And then this one, I'm going to use two different colors and I realized I probably wouldn't be able to fit any more of those big stamps, uh, big triangles in those little spots. So I just took, um, a little smaller stamp set of the same pattern and squeezed that in. So this, these inks are, I think meant to be from Avery L and then the pink one is, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know what, but it is an Avery L ink. And if you looked up those inks, you would probably see what I was talking about. Or I can try to link some of the stuff down below. Okay, so this card, okay, so this is a roller date stamp um, from, it's that, it's, see what I mean? It's slipping me. I'm going to have to link that one too. But it's, um, 
it's that that one line that came out with all like kind of the Aztec prints and then it came out with several and it starts with like a B I think but I cannot I will keep wanting to say Blitzy but that's a um, store it's not that so I'm gonna link that this stuff below because this I cannot believe that this is slipping me um, so I am doing the same thing except I used colored cardstock with Hero Hues uh, white pigment ink. And now I just am inking up these little crosses uh, from this one Citrus Twist uh, mini stamp set and just going in and making my own little design. And then I realize it's going to be a lot harder. So I, I inked up three at a time and I realize it's going to be a little bit difficult to continue to do that towards the end. So I just took two of them off and just started stamping with one. Um, this is a stamp set by Technique Tuesday. I got it off of the Butterfly Reflections Ink website. And, um, it's, yeah, it's Technique Tuesday. I don't think it's Allie Edwards, but I know that it's Technique Tuesday. I did not like the way that first one turned out. So I try to be a little bit more uniform with the second one. And I do like the way this turned out a lot better. And that stamp just says, love this. And really you don't have to use, for the sake of the video, I just use the same stamp, but you don't have to use the same stamp. You can use all different kinds, um, that you have. I just, some of these, I just felt like. I had to use the same one so I didn't take up too much time because this process took me like 45, 50 minutes. I did not like that particular uh, card so I just kind of started over and I'm using this grid card uh, from Project Life and I just used the Wood Mountain Stamp, a Wood Mount Stampin' Up uh, camera stamp. This is also Stampin' Up stamp and it's, I think, um, I think it's called like watercolor or something. I can't really remember but it's it's a stamp set that I had that I bought a while back and the same thing with these splatters. These are all from Stampin' Up. And so I also used, I guess I also used clean stamps too, but just in this particular, just for this, these cards that I'm doing right here. Those, I do not like clean stamps at all. I don't know about you guys, but I, I do not like them. Here's a roller date stamp that I use. So in addition to those other roller stamps that I could not think of the name, um, I'm using this roller date stamp and I believe this is an October afternoon uh, roller date stamp that we got in a hip kit club. And then this is a clear mount Stampin' Up stamp and it's one of my favorites. It's a geometric one and I'm going to do kind of an ombre effect like I, with, the, with three different, I used like a Studio Calico mint at the top and then in the middle I used Malibu and the bottom I used teal. Um, and those bottom two colors for Stampin' Up. And then I'm doing the very recent technique of pencil eraser. I just thought it'd be fun to do these last two cards with that. And it's very simple and easy. But that pretty much uh, concludes my project. And if you guys want to see how I use these, stay tuned for the next video. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week. And don't forget to uh, follow me on Instagram. And then also um, stay tuned for next, the future videos.